What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about what they need to do to make Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered an incredible game. Don't worry guys, I'm not sponsored by Coke. They keep hitting me up. They keep sending me emails and DMs like, yo, can we please sponsor your channel? I'm like, no, 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 you, do, you can't afford me. Like, I'm so much bigger than you guys. But anyway, so I'm pretty sure every single gamer who accesses the internet has seen over the past week or so uh, that they have pretty much confirmed that we're going to be getting a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 a remaster or remake uh, coming in 2019 and I'd be willing to bet that they're going to bundle it with whatever piece of garbage Infinity Ward is going to be dropping uh, next year because Lord knows that that's the only thing that saved Infinite Warfare with being bundled with uh, Modern Warfare and I imagine that whatever they've been cooking up over the last year or so is no better than that piece of trash. Uh, so most likely they're going to force those sales with a, an included bundle of what all, many would argue to be the best Call of Duty of all time. Now the primary reason that these rumors have been going around is one, uh, back in December actually Infinity Ward mentioned that they were opening another branch of the Infinity Ward studio I believe in Poland uh, where most people presume okay if Infinity Ward has two branches then one is probably working on COD 2019, the other is probably focused on remaster and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, that's a safe assumption for most people to make because that's what they did for Infinite Warfare. It only makes sense to do it again um, <clears throat> of course one team generally would be spread pretty thin if they were working on both games at the same time um, not that whatever they're making in 2019 is going to be good anyway it's probably going to be shit. honestly they should just release modern warfare 2 remastered and just skip infinity wards title next year but anyway i'm going to stop i'm going to stop taking a dump on those guys um, and just continue with the topic so the other reason that people are talking about this is because the creators or the owners the ceos of activision actually filed a report with the security and exchange Exchange Commission uh, talking about the upcoming things that the company is going to be working on and one of the things that they mentioned is that they are going to be releasing a DLC packs for World War 2 as well as focusing on remastering older titles in their library that's what they said and of course Activision Blizzard has tons of older titles in their library um, but if they're gonna be remastering things it makes sense that they would continue to remaster the franchise that they've already started remastering aka Modern Warfare uh, and again 2019 is Infinity Ward's turn on top of that it's also the 10 year anniversary of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 so all of these things kind of lining up you know two different um, branches of Infinity Ward it's the 10 year anniversary of Modern Warfare 2 Modern Warfare 2 is the next in line to be remastered it, it just all lines up to you know everyone on the internet saying okay we are like almost guaranteed to be getting this game and that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about it if you guys didn't know if you're new to this channel uh, my longtime viewers will know this but Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite favorite Call of Duty of all time and a lot of people feel that way as well um, because you know it went from modern warfare to world at war and a lot of people were already kind of over the world world war 2 theme because we did Call of Duty 1 through 3 world war 2 and then you know we got an, a taste of modern warfare and everyone was like oh my god that's amazing then we went back to world at war and it was like okay and then Modern Warfare 2 came out and it just like blew the industry out of the water. It was incredible. Um, and it's my favorite Call of Duty to date by far. It's just, it's so much fun. Um, super frustrating, mind you, but it's it was also super, super fun. Um, and that's kind of where I started my uh, love for YouTube back in 2009. I joined YouTube around 2008, but around 2009 is when I started really watching, you know, Wings of Redemption and Woody's Gamer Tag, X Jaws, like all those dudes making um, White Boy 7th Street, you know, all the original uh, Call of Duty commentators who didn't have webcams, they just had a mic and some great gameplay. Now, that's when I really fell in love with Call of Duty and when I really fell in love with YouTube. I would put like 12 hours in on Modern Warfare 2 on the weekends because I was in ninth grade, so I could just do that. I just had free time so I would literally spend like all of Friday night and literally all of Saturday and most of Sunday just playing Modern Warfare 2 it was literally an addiction that's probably the most addicted to a game I've ever been so I feel like with the amount of hours that I've put into Modern Warfare 2 
I am qualified to talk to you guys about what needs to happen in order for this remaster to actually be good. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is supply drops. Obviously, if this is going to be a thing, they're going to put supply drops in there just like they did with uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. That's just what's going to be in these games from now on, unfortunately. Um, but I need to mention this. It has to be cosmetic only. And I know that's kind of like what what the um, they've been doing. I mean, besides in, uh, Infinite Warfare, but they have been doing cosmetic only generally since black ops 3 Mono, uh, world war 2 has been pretty much cosmetic only because you could get some of those dlc guns through um challenges and stuff like that um still bull but yeah so if you're going to remaster a game i don't want to see new guns right i want it to be the same experience that we know and love otherwise it's going to fall apart immediately the other thing is you better not you better not put 10 maps in this game please Please do not put 10 maps in Modern Warfare 2. The 16 maps that it came with were really, really great maps. I really liked them. Please put all of the maps in there. Or if you're going to do it, just I'll I will literally pay $80 for Modern Warfare 2 remastered standalone if it's an exact carbon copy of the game. Minus one thing I want to talk about in a second. But please put all of the maps in the game. Additionally, if you don't put all the maps in the game, don't put rust behind a pre-order bonus say it with me do not put rust because i already know you're thinking about it i already know you're thinking about what pre-order bonuses can we do what maps can we put behind it don't put rust behind a pre-order bonus okay you've done this in the past with nuketown do not say it with me now <laughs> don't put rust behind a stupid pre-order bonus um the next thing that i want to talk about is one man army now if you guys weren't in the call of duty scene back when modern warfare 2 was the game that was out one thing that the community picked up on after a while was a perk called one man army what one man army does is it's a tier one perk so it was one of the blue perks and it would replace your secondary with a giant backpack and what it would do is during your class while you're playing the game you can actually switch to this backpack and change your class to any other class that you want and it'll switch to that class after five seconds with the standard version or three seconds with uh one man army pro and basically you would continue your kill streak you would stay alive you wouldn't have to die and respawn in order to get your new class that you switch to it would just do it automatically which is cool right it's a cool concept for a game or for a for a perk or something like that but it literally broke the game and that's why we haven't seen any other perks like it since modern warfare 2. now the reason that it was so broken is because i'm assuming the development studio uh infinity ward didn't know that people would just use one man army to switch to the exact same class uh, and it would replenish their ammo their equipment their grenade launcher everything so what people would do and people discovered this after a while um, is that you can put on one man army and they would put on an assault rifle with a grenade launcher aka the noob tube uh, it would give you two grenades and then your tier two perk slot would be danger close which would make your explosive damage ridiculously ridiculously powerful um, and then the third tier perk didn't really matter uh, some people would just use dead silence or you know uh, something like that um, and then you would also put a claymore on that class setup as well with one man army and then you would per perch up in a room and this was back when map design kind of made it so that a room had only one or two entrances now these days you can enter any room from any window ladder from the ceiling or double jumping like you can enter rooms from a million different ways these days but back then the way the maps were designed they were designed with fucking common sense so they actually only had like one or two doorways into a room so you, you would drop a claymore perch at the window use your grenade launcher to get a couple of easy kills um go prone so you were not visible use one man army to switch back to the exact same class that you're already using so effectively you're not even changing classes you're just replenishing all of your grenade launchers and claymore and ammo then you would place your other claymore at the other door so now you have both doors with two danger close claymores and then you would continue to use those two noob tubes to destroy your enemies and if you didn't get any kills or even if you did whatever you would just use your um your backpack your one-man army to replenish those and you would keep doing that and the other thing ab about this is that the um the kill streaks in this game in modern warfare 2 they are the best part about the game because they stack and they're really really good but also because they stack all you needed to do was get a predator missile which was a five kill streak which is easy with these super powerful grenade launchers that you have unlimited of 
um and then that predator missile it was actually more powerful because you had to get a close on which increases explosive damage which included kill streak damage um so your predator was even stronger so if you get one or two kills with your predator then you're only zero or one kills away from your harrier strike which is a bomb which does more damage because of danger close and then your harrier as long as it gets five kills you now have a chopper gunner and the chopper gunner what people didn't know about this back in the day was the bullets from the chopper gunner were not just bullets they were actually explosive bullets they they when they hit the ground they made little explosions so danger close made the chopper gunner even better too and that's why you can you could pound like the entrance of a cave or a doorway with the chopper gunner and it would actually have explosive damage inside the building so you can actually kill people in buildings sometimes with the chopper gunner with danger close so it was a, for a five kill streak you were you know 60 70 percent of the time you were almost guaranteed to get a chopper gunner as long as the enemy team couldn't find you or get past your claymores or you know if you could hide somewhere um you know so that was the problem with one man army is that it was super super easy to camp with such an overpowered weapon um and there was like it was so difficult to kind of overcome that because like i said the grenade launchers were so powerful and it was a very easy weapon to use so moving forward right the reason that it it started the, the one-man army thing kind of started to really blow up around probably midway through the game's life cycle for a couple of reasons this was when YouTube was just starting to get popular you know the biggest YouTube channels had like you know hundreds of thousands of, of subs you know low hundreds of thousands for sure like 200,000 subs was like huge back then um, so YouTube was starting to become a thing so people would post videos doing this and others would pick up on it on top of that it, it took to level 45 to unlock one man army and you know when you prestiged in this game you didn't get any prestige tokens you couldn't permanently unlock one man army so if you were constantly prestiging you only got to use it for about 10 levels or so or no wait it went up to level 70 so you still got to use it for probably a decent amount of your prestige but it was still you couldn't get it to level 45 so you didn't have it for most of your prestige so that was why it took a little while for this to catch on and back in 2009 uh, activision and infinity ward they weren't really interested in patching the games because that required money required time and this was before call of duty had you know really made millions and millions and millions because modern warfare 2 and 3 were the ones that actually started pulling in millions of sales so you know i mean they had the money to do it but they were just being cheap so they didn't patch bugs right like just straight up out of map glitches um there was a care package glitch where you could keep getting care packages i think there was a stealth bomb glitch or something like there were so many glitches that it took them months to patch even the broken glitches let alone one man army which was literally programmed in the game that was not a glitch you know maybe it was an oversight maybe they didn't realize oh you could just switch to the same class duh we forgot to you know patch that um but the, that was part of the game so if they were going to patch anything which they really didn't want to it was going to be the couple of things that were like actual huge problems in the game and they never got around to fixing one man army uh because it wasn't really something they had to fix it was technically coded in there on purpose i just think it was probably misused and they didn't intend for it to be used the way that it was ultimately used um so anyway the whole point of this video is that i wanted to talk about the you know the infamous one man army and call of duty modern warfare 2 remastered if it's gonna be a remaster it needs to be a carbon copy of modern warfare 2. however i think it's time that we patch one man army 10 years later can we please get a patch for one man army um I don't, i'm not saying take it out of the game i think it should be in the game because it was supposed to be there but let's make it so that way you can't switch to another class with one man army including the class that you already have right that would make sense um if you have one man army in the game and you try to one man army to the class that you already have then let's make sure that that doesn't happen right and it makes sense because why would you be able to switch to a class that you're already using right so maybe you could just make it so that doesn't happen or maybe make it so it doesn't replenish your grenade launcher because I can see what people would do is they would have a one man army noob tube class and then another class with noob, noob tubes so that way they would get two claymores and four grenade launchers which would still be kind of annoying so I don't know maybe maybe just make it so it doesn't replenish the grenade launcher how about that like I don't know there needs to be something done to that one specific part of the game that one specific perk in order to make modern warfare 2 better uh, and the reason is because like I said back in the day it took a little while for this whole thing to catch on 
on but now that YouTube is a million times bigger than it was before and everybody has been a veteran of Call of Duty for 10 plus years now as soon as this game drops one man army is going to become a problem because the information will be widespread instantaneously uh, through the power of the internet so it's not going to be like it was before it's going to be even worse than it was before which is hard to imagine so we need to fix one man army everything else I think you can keep the same and I know that there, I'm sure there are a ton of people who there are a ton of people who would say oh you have to fix commando with the tactical knife and stuff like that let's just leave it all the same I think that was you know of course attack knifing was really annoying but it was nowhere near as broken as one man army one man army was literally broken like that literally was a was a problem let's fix that and then keep the game exactly the same throw in your supply drops to make that money I don't care as long as it's cosmetic only but I just want to see that one small change just make one man army switch not be able to switch to a class that'll replenish their grenade launchers or another one man army class whatever with that being said I am super excited for the Modern Warfare 2 remaster. I almost would rather that come out this year and just nothing else. I'd rather just have that besides Black Ops 4 um, because it's just, it it's so hacked online right now. If you try to play it on Xbox uh, 360 or whatever, it's just so hacked. It's just so difficult to get a good game and the games that you do get in, if they're not hacked, everyone's using one man army YouTube. So, you know, the game is, is just super, super broken right now. And I'm psyched that we're getting a remaster to actually play my favorite call of duty with updated graphics, maybe some cool stuff in supply drops, who knows? Um, and, and I just really hope that they don't mess it up. And that's just that's about it guys that's all i wanted to talk about so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smack that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that way you know the next time i upload to this channel uh, and comment down below telling me what your favorite call of duty is if you remember the one man army uh spam that was going on back then uh and let me know some of your favorite memories from call of duty modern warfare 2 and if you're excited for the remaster so that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace